Hi, this is Paul from FinishYourSong.com and this is the third in a series of videos looking at uses of the chord track in Cubase. And look who's got a new toy. Um, if you've read the blog you'll know that I have a little list of software that um, I want to buy but that I have a habit of waiting until it's in the sale. And a couple of weeks ago ToonTrack were offering Easy Keys at 70% off so at that I couldn't resist and I invested. So here it is in all its glory. Easy Keys. I bought the upright piano version which was the version that was on sale uh, but that's quite useful for uh, ensemble pieces. Um, what we're going to look at in this video is how to get the chord track to interact with Easy Keys and that's about the only thing that isn't easy. You can't click and drag the chords from the chord track into the MIDI song track in Easy Keys. Uh, it makes it difficult um, to make it interact. If I just set the um, song playing and I've got the chord track set to use the monitor tracks and if I put the monitor on, on here, you'll see if we go Easy Keys recognises the chords, but it plays the block chords that are being output by the chord track. Uh, the other thing to notice is that when I set this going, because I've left a little bit of a gap at the beginning of the song here, when I set it going, Easy Keys automatically syncs up. Um, I've got it set to follow host, so it's picking up the tempo um, from the, uh, the song, as you can see, we're 114 beats a minute here. It's also um, synchronized to it. So in that sense, it's very user-friendly. It immediately locks into what you're doing in your project. But um, the other thing that we need to be mindful of is that Easy Keys will try and work in the key that it thinks you're working in. So you do need to reset the key if you're using it in a different key in the chord track. Um, which we'll do in a moment. So in terms of using Easy Keys with the chord track, there are a number of options. One is to take your MIDI from Easy Keys and drag it unadulterated into your project and then use the chord track to reset the chords. This has its problems and we'll just have a quick look at a couple of what they might be. First thing we'll do is just zoom the song up from full to single bars. The first issue is that Easy Keys will output the chords as it has them in its style. So if, for example, I go into the browser, and I go into, we're going to use the country ballad for this, but if I pick up the variation 3 of the intro and drag it onto our song line here you'll see that it's in all those different chords it's got one chord per bar if I drag that just for the sake of argument out here onto the Easy Keys song track When I play the song, that's still one chord. It's not reflecting the fact that there's two chords in that bar. Um, and with particularly with some of the simpler variations, so if I drag that down, for example, you'll see it's one sustained chord or arpeggiated chord in this style. So Cubase won't split the chord when you assign it to the chord track. In fact, what we'll do is we'll drag that out so I can show you that in practice. Now I'll just pull that down onto the MIDI track. So rather than being on the Easy Keys track, which would play that, I'm going to let it play that. So we'll shut that off, mute that, and here's what we've got. Oops. If 
Right, so this is a second track with easy keys on it. So I've got one that will respond to the chord sequence and one that will just be a simple VST playing whatever MIDI we send into it. If we now make that follow the chord track and we'll synchronize it, what we get is this. That's fine, but it's not picking up the fact that the C is there. It's just playing an arpeggio of D and sustaining it through when the C chord is there. Now, if we unmute that and just go into that particular version and we remove those chords there, You can hear that the chord sounds but that the MIDI we've extracted isn't reflecting the chord sequence. So that has its problems. So what can we do about that? I'll get rid of that. Well one thing we can do is reflect our chord track in the chord sequence itself. We can go through and make these chords be the chords that they are up there. But the big problem with that is of course that we're not using the chord track. What we're doing is recreating this chord track in Easy Keys. There's a couple of issues with that. One, it's a lot of effort to do something twice. And secondly, Easy Keys won't accept multiple time signatures. If you have a chord track or a song which has different time signatures, and if you've watched any of my videos you'll know that I'm not averse to the odd bar of 6-4 or 2-4 creeping in to make the song push or pull a little against where you would normally expect the 4-4 beat to be. That can be a problem. You are going to have to do some MIDI editing there's no doubt about it if you're going to have different time signatures. How you handle that is up to you. You've got to find your best way forward. It may be simply that exporting a few random bits of chords onto a spare MIDI track and then editing them, slotting them in, is the way that it's going to work for you. There is another alternative, one that makes full use of the chord track. So we'll get rid of that. We'll also reset our instance of easy keys to be in the right key to start with. And what we're going to do is we're going to import the chords from the chord track into easy keys. Now you can't just click and drag them, but what you can do is grab hold of that and drag it down so that it sits on a MIDI track and you get all the chords as block chords pulled out. Now this trick, or this way of working, is best done when you have an empty project. Do this right at the get-go. Otherwise, when you export the MIDI part, as I'm about to do, um, when you import it into Easy Keys, you have to differentiate which particular MIDI track you want, you want used as the source for your chord conversion. I'm just going to use the bounce MIDI function to take all those individual chord parts and make them into one part and I'm going to rename that one more time MIDI and then what I'm going to do pull that down there on a pure MIDI track is I'm going to export that as a MIDI file and I'm going to call it One More Time Chords. I'm going to export it as a Type 1 MIDI file. That is, all the uh, tracks will be on a separate track rather than combined onto one single MIDI track. doesn't really matter when you've only got one MIDI track, but even so, that's what I'm going to do. That's all the defaults. 
and I've now exported that and we can get rid of that because we don't need it anymore. What I'm going to do is come in here into Easy Keys and we have our song. I'm going to position the song marker at the beginning. Go up here, Menu, Import MIDI File and I'm just going to go to the desktop and drill down into the folder. There's my One More Time Chords. Analyzes it. Do we want to give statically played MIDI a human touch? Well, yes we do. We don't need to transpose the MIDI file because we've already set the project signature to match. Import. And there we have it. There's our song imported with all the chords. Now what we can do is cut it up into its different sections and assign our style that we want by going by highlighting the part, use the browser MIDI and replacing. And now with the browser MIDI having been applied to our chord sequence we can drag that out into our MIDI track and there it is. Now there will be a need to do some editing um, inevitably these styles don't necessarily match up with the chords that you're using but it gives you the ability to get all your parts out into here you can then use any other VST instrument that you want to use and it gives you the entire song in one fell swoop transposed into easy keys for you to then cut up into sections and try out the different styles so that you can make a final choice. Hope that all makes sense. Uh, hope it's given you some food for thought. In the meantime, I'm going to carry on with this and I'll leave you to it. So until the next time, you take care of yourselves.